All right, on these we're just multiplying and dividing, so let's look at 19. So when multiplying these, sometimes it, for you guys it's easier to see this as a fraction, because then you can just multiply straight across times 1 over 7. So you do this uh, seven a negative 7 times 1 is a negative 7. 1 times 7 is 7. Negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1. On number 20, we got this negative 12. You can make it over 1 if you want, but the problem is we don't divide fractions. We multiply them. If we do that, we've got to reciprocate these so that we have a 5 halves. Negative 12 times a 5 is a negative 60. Over 1 times 2 is 2. Uh, then you could, you could do it this way. Negative 60 divided by 2. You just know the answer is negative. 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we would add the 6, I suppose. And then 2 goes into 0, 0 times. So this would be a negative 30. This one is multiplication. Uh, I guess we didn't really go over this in class. We know the answer is negative, though, so we keep that negative. Uh, you can do this 1.5 times uh, 0 0.3 like this. Uh, just know that uh, we don't really have to have the decimals there. Uh, but since we have two decimal places, we'll just move the decimal when we're done. So 3 times 5 is a 15. 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 1 is 45. And since the decimals used to be here, we moved it 1, 2 times. Since it's there, we'd move it 1, 2 times to the left, and your answer would be 0 0.45. One second. Otherwise, you may have turned these into fractions, uh, negative 1 and 1 half times 3 tenths, and then worked it with it from there just like we did on those previous problems. Uh, but yes, it is a negative 0 0.45. As a fraction, this would be a negative a fraction. Uh, dividing by 5 would be 20ths, 9 20ths? Negative 9 20ths.